Hey YouTube, Wade is kindly doing the tech work on my Timber X. It's exhibiting strange symptoms. I think he's figured it out. The uh, do you think the uh, receiver flopping around in there has anything to do with it? Yeah, I think the gyro is getting all messed up when it's flopping around. Yeah, and it's causing all sorts of weird. Luckily, I got a, a flying buddy who's a tech also. But that's not why we're here. We're here because we have been chatting frequently, infrequently, casually about the power of activated Gorilla Glue. Hey Wade, that's going to be the title of this video, like Activated it. Gorilla yeah. Glue for your foam RC plane. We have discovered that Gorilla Glue combined with the tiniest bit of water, depending on the size of the brake, we missed it. And uh, if it's ever so damp, it will activate the Gorilla Glue. You wait about two minutes or so for the activation to start and then press the parts together and lo and behold, it forms almost an exact composite that is the same as the foam that our airplanes are made from. And when we discovered this, Wade just glued his timber wings right back together. You and, bet. And, Mine was cracked. and you wouldn't know, it filled the crack. And I thought it would be great to make a video illustrating this point. So I'm gonna start by snapping off a piece of this tail section and repair it with Gorilla Glue activated with water right before your eyes and illustrate the point. Okay, so hang in there. Go get something to drink and you come too. back. We're back. Of course, I forgot my tripod today, so I'm going to wing it here and snap off a piece of this foam right before your very eyes. Actually, it bends pretty good. <laughs> it's hard to break it, Wade. It might rip. There. I'm simulating a crash. There you go. So you can see that we have complete separation there and not a very clean line, I must say. If, although if you look there, you can see that we could still fit it together. So that's what we would call a real ugly break. And that's I think that's gonna be perfect for demonstrating this power of activated Gorilla Glue, Wade. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. So I'm gonna take my spritzer bottle right here and I'm gonna quickly spritz the side of this. And as you can see, it's got some moisture in there. And now I shall open up the Gorilla Glue and apply a, not a liberal amount, apply a, what's the word, Wade? Uh, uh, appropriate amount. Appropriate amount of Gorilla Glue. Probably too much here, but we can, as I said, trim off the excess. Now the trick here is to wait a little bit for activation to happen. And I think while I'm doing that, I'll even give a little spray on the other part of the tail section. There we go. And now here comes the part where I shall press it together as well as I can to make it as seamless as possible. Although I did a rather brutal job, I would say of ripping it. Okay, you can see I have pressed it together. And now this is where it can get difficult because if you don't have, you have, if you have larger pieces, you need to position them and, and put weights on them and hold them in place for at least, I would say about 15 minutes for the, for the glue to start to set. So you can see I've let go and the piece may start to fall off because the glue hasn't activated yet. So what I like to do is take something and just kind of hold it in place as you see me doing here. And what would be really great, Wade, is if I could just find something that was heavy enough to prop against it. And I think maybe this water bottle would work. Uh, no, not really. It's not quite what I would want. Um, how about a, block of wood? a block of wood might work. Yeah, that could, thank you, Wade. That could work. That, that could work quite well. We just need to apply opposite pressure. There you go. I shall adjust the camera soon because now you're looking at a beautiful concentric piece of wood ring. There we go. Thanks to Wade, he has supplied me with the necessary uh, item. And you can see just at the top of the crease of, of the brake, the light going through, and that's where I haven't quite pushed it together. But 
I'm going to totally resist the urge, Wade, to keep pushing it together because uh, what do we know? We yeah. know the foam is activated. It'll, it'll foam it in it, itself. It will. It will yeah. fill in absolutely well. And I'm just going to come around to the other side before I cut to a commercial. Ooh. Oh, did I move it? A is, little is bit. Is it still okay? It should be okay. Oh, look at that. You I, still aligned? I, I, I don't sit. Don't sit. And, and you're out a little bit. Wade's going to fix I'm it because there's slightly adjust yeah, because there's you still moved time. it a bit. And there's still time. And there is still time. You got about five or ten minutes, I think. You have movability. A movability. Shifted, yeah. Shiftability. Yeah. So there'd be, let that be a lesson. Don't move. And I think you got it, Wade. That's it. You can see that it is starting to foam. Yep. A good foaming on this side good already. Good foaming on that side. It's a little hard to see because it's white on white. Exactly. But the foaming is right there. Exactly. So now we're just going to let it uh, sit here in the, in the sun sit. for a while. Not too long because the UV is not great for it, but it's nice and dry and cool out here. And we'll check back in about 15 minutes and show you how we can remove the wood block and we'll almost be ready with a repair. Activated Gorilla Glue is your best weapon against your crashed foam RC airplane. Definitely. Okay, YouTube, it's been about, I don't know, half an hour or so and the activated Gorilla Glue repair should be well along the way. And as you can see, we've already got solid foam-like material there. And there. Look at that. Get it in the light where you can see that. Oh, there we go. That's better. There's the crack, and it is absolutely filled with foam. You saw how violently I was snapping that thing. And there's the other side, and quite filled with foam, I would say. Yes, that can be trimmed. But here's the point, is that now what was broken, I can pick it up and check it out. I'm, that what, 20 minutes, half an hour? And I'm now holding it by the rudder by that repair. I won't swing it around too violently, but that's got to say something, right? Once I trim that off, it's perfectly white, like the foam that it's fixing, right? Look at that. The power of activated Gorilla Glue. Try it today.